What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got for you an athletic pull workout. So usually we don't split up um, workouts into like legs, push, pull, we just kind of do full body. But um, depending on the times athletes come in, sometimes we will do something like this. So this is focusing mostly on upper body, but since it is pull, um, we're gonna get posterior chain. So there's a lot of um, involvement in the glutes, the hamstrings. We do hit some exercises for them, but it's mostly full body with kind of an emphasis on upper. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. It really supports us um, and it means a lot. So subscribe, like the video, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right guys, we're starting off with hand cleans. Make sure you get your mobility in before you jump to this. Um, usually we would just show you like our final weight um, hitting. I think we're going four sets of two. But we'll show you the progression, kind of how we get to where we're going. Um, we haven't done cleans in a while, so we're probably not going crazy heavy. Big thing here is I just want it to be really explosive. So I don't really care about the weight. Um, obviously you want to push yourself a little bit, but I want it to be fast, right? I don't want it to be so heavy that it gets slow. So we always start with the bar. The way I kind of warm up for these is I hit like some baby RDLs. Right, just really work, not full RDL, right? I'm not going down here, but I'm just working on the hinge through my hips, explode up. After that, we'll get a couple, cover. we'll get a couple where we're here, drive those elbows up, work on that. Then we slap some weight on it. Usually Spencer and I just jump to 95 pounds, but if we're training our athletes, I'll put on 10 to make sure their wrists are really warmed up, shoulders, the whole shebang. But yeah, we're gonna show you guys our progression. All right, 95. Woo, my shoulders. 115. Ooh, that was good. Mean. All right, we're going. What is this, mental mass? 125. We got 35s and 5s, so 40s on each side. Um, we're starting our four sets of two right now. So the others were just a warm up. As you get heavier, make sure that you really continue to use your posterior chain, that hip hinge. Um, you're obviously gonna have to use your upper body too, but make sure you're not just pulling because then it gets really, really, really hard. Use your glutes, use your hamstrings. That looks easy. Easy? Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, it's a hand clean day. When like five minutes into the workout, I'm already covered in chalk. Chalk time, baby. So we're going up to 135. Ooh, that looks good. You got his arms looking good underneath. That's easy. I've been hit 135 in a minute. So, if I fail, it's on camera for the first time. I'm a little nervous. Anybody else getting nervous before cleans? I do. Know? Easy. Oh. Update. Set three. Spencey Poo's going. 145. 145, 35, 10, 5. He's feeling good. I'm not good, but. <laughs> He's not feeling good. He's just gonna do it. He's doing it for all of you guys, so smash the thumbs up for Spency Poo. Going 145. You got this. Not bad. Here we go. Come on. Yo. My traps tomorrow are gonna be done. Straight done. All right, we're on to series two. We are going pull-ups. So notice how Spencer has a weight. That's because I only want six reps. So Spence can bust out more than six. So we're putting a weight between his feet so he taps at six. That weighs a little bit more strength, right, versus just repping it out for forever. So he's only got a 10. You don't need much weight to make these a lot harder. Yeah. 
Alright, we got one of these, so as far as you can, you can like load it a couple times if you need. We just launch it not too high. That's pretty good. Make sure you don't launch it too high up or else it's not going to go far. And don't launch it too low or it's going to go straight down. We're doing a double arm explosive cable work. So you're gonna start lower down. You're gonna row it up as fast as you can. Two second eccentric. So notice how slow on the way down to get back into that squat position. Use hip extension to drive that thing up, right? We're using posterior chain to help with the pull motion. So six of these, every single time, explode up. All right, so we're doing Nordic hamstring curl. So we got three reps three second count down. If you can't pull yourself back up, then just um, at, the, at the end of three uh, seconds, then just let yourself fall, push yourself back up, and go again. Um, really, you're gonna keep your core tight. Use your glutes, use your hamstrings to do this. Watch your back. All right, three C, we're going a beam pole in honor of the Kings, beam team. So you're gonna put the straps around the pole, squat down, you're gonna be pulling as hard as you possibly can, trying to pull that post beam towards you, something immovable. We're going five seconds, squeeze as hard as you can. For me, um, my feet kind of slip, so I put a, a foot up here, kind of help the pole a little bit. All right, and then final part of this series, we're going a single arm explosive pull. So you're gonna attach, we attach two kettlebells to make it a little bit heavier because you don't have a, a really heavy one. You're gonna attach the line to it. Go split stance to make it a little bit more unilateral athletic. Pull as hard as you can. We're going three aside. All right, for A, we are doing an alternating chest support and incline dumbbell row. So while one's contracted, the other is extending. So we're working on simultaneous movement. This is really great for the back, working on rotation. Very sport specific, especially for a lot of sports um, that involve throwing. Right, one side's kind of contracted back as the other is expanded or extended. And you gotta work counter movements at the same time, keeping your core tight, sturdy, stable, and your core safe stable. For B, we're going with inverted row. So core stays tight like you're a plank of wood. You're gonna be pulling up um, like your nipple line or bottom of the sports bra for girls. Um, these can be slightly bent or straight, whatever you want. Row up, really squeeze your back as you go. We're only going eight of these, so make them all perfect. All right, we are doing a single leg foot elevated hip thrust. So hip thrust means your back is up off the ground. You're gonna load it down slow and controlled explode up, hips stay high, lock it out at the top. Really feel this in your glutes, hamstrings, keep your core tight. Like I said, slow and control down and then explode up as fast as you can. All right, final series, we got some abs. So we're doing hollow body hold with quick Russian twist. So shoulder blades up, feet up. You're gonna have a plate. Um, we're using a 10, nothing crazy. You can even go body weight for this, honestly. And we're going 50 total twists. So rotate through that core, go side to side. If you don't really feel this, you can sit up a little bit more on your butt. Um, whatever you gotta do just to contract and make sure you're stabilizing. Final thing we have, we're going TRX fallouts. Hands in the TRX, extend them, control with the core, keep it tight. Similar to rollouts or body saws, if you don't have TRXs, you can do a stability ball. If you can do rollouts, whatever it is. Make sure you're really using your core though. Try not to put it all into your shoulders. And yeah, hopefully you guys like it. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, it really helps us out. So we appreciate it.